What must we do to do the works of God? That's the question the crowds asked Jesus as they marveled at the glory he demonstrated as he healed the sick, as he cast out evil spirits, as he went about doing good, manifesting the glory of God. In fulfillment of prophecy, he shall be called Emmanuel, God with us. The word that was God became flesh, dwelt amongst us and manifested glory. God wants to manifest his glory through his church. The question, what must we do to do the works of God, was answered by Jesus himself. He said, your work is to believe the one God sent. God sent his son Jesus and we are operating in his kingdom, delivered from the dominion of darkness, the gates of hell, all the powers of hell will not overcome the power of God that is in operation in and through us, manifesting the glory of God. The gates of hell will not prevail against the church. The word of God will grow mightily and it will prevail. We will take a hold of God's word. We will believe it. We will lean on it, depend on it. It will be our final authority. The body of Christ will continue doing the works of God and greater works. Jesus said, if you believe me, the works I do, you will do also. Greater works than this shall you do. We will do great and mighty things in the name of Jesus. We will cast out demons in the name of Jesus. We will pray for the sick and God will heal them in the name of Jesus. We will manifest the glory of God in the name of Jesus. The knowledge of the glory of God will fill the earth as the waters come.